Update. Hi everyone, Basil. Hey everyone, uh, uh, this is the Tiger Financial News Network 11 a.m. update, and this is Basil Chapman. Just finished my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Got my webinar coming up this afternoon at four. If you want to go to the front page of TFN, check it out. We're looking at the Dow up 150 at 35,408 now, just 230 or so points away from an all-time high. It's amazing how it broke out. Look at the weekly chart. Nice action, got really good support in the 35,200s. If anything untoward should happen later today, uh, yes, we do remain long the diamonds. We're looking, that's the Dow, we're looking at the S&P, SPX.X. We're looking at the S&P doing another one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. Very nice, up 26 at 4,512. Having gone into the 4,500 area, it's really important because 45, 45.85, was the all-time high and it's breaking out in the weekly chart this is really good action qqqs even are moving look at this you got google finally perking up after coming down and went above the chapman wave inside track repellent zone so google's up 13 this is good action you want to see some of these fang stocks come back to life again so the qqq is very strong action up at 37 374 85 of 2.20. If it doesn't make a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside, try to get to the 376s by Wednesday or Thursday. We're going to be watching this really closely. 371 is good support at the moment, short term. IWM is it's just being dragged up, up 29 cents at 225.31. It's got too many stocks that are involved in the weakness that we're looking at. Uh, but if you're looking at gold, the gold is trying to rally. It's up seven. Silver is the one that had the bigger move. Silver is the one that is up. Um, 74 cents holding in leg D very strongly. So keep an eye on that. High grade copper, yes, it's getting to the double top area, but it hasn't double topped yet, but it's acting really well so far. Crude oil is the one we're going to be watching because there's a lot of evidence that suggests it's just starting to slow down its upside move unless it suddenly cracks into the 85. That'll be amazing. For, for crude oil to do that now rather than to have a little bit of a pullback and then do that. TLT is what you're watching. Look at this. TLT pulls back. Yields are going up again. This is something very important. So all I can say is the Dow's up 153. If this afternoon, after 2, 2.30, somewhere around there, the Dow is still up over 100 points, it's going to be forcing people to buy it into the close. So we're going to be watching that closely to see what happens. There are certain areas that are being bought, and that's important. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Pizzavento coming up. You've got Thinkorswim. Then you've got C. Rose, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with Tom O'Brien this afternoon. But don't forget my webinar at 4 o'clock for subscribers. You can become a subscriber. Check out the front page of TFNN. See you later. Have a great day.